Good morning again, Labour Rights. Good morning to all of the comebacks them that is watching from the fuck you page. Now, we see a lot of people are jump in and out. We know them are screen record. We don't really give a fuck. Anyways, <clears throat> let me just make this be known right now. See? Growing up, see, as a younger Dujan, there was no bigger Gaza fan than Dujan. See? Me and my friend named Buckley Thought, for who are the biggest Gaza fan. See? Me I listen to Cartel before Cartel Bus. Me I listen to Cartel for mixtape. See? No. Cartel would have done almost 13 years in a prison. No. A lot of people are going to say we are do these things because we are because of politics and all of these things. No, I listen to Cartel. I listen to Cartel interview of Sark that he done with Isaac last night. And I must tell my following and I must tell persons watching on this TikTok live that I am very disappointed. No. Everybody know Cartel as a PNP. See? I'm not gonna tell you why me disappointed. Not because he's a PNP. I don't business with that department. Even though he might feel to identify himself as a PNP. And he might use subliminals. You see me I say? He might use craft. And I go on like he can grow on it. Everybody know him for me. A PNP. But I'm going to tell you why I'm disappointed in a Vibes Cartel. Vibes Cartel would have gone through what he has gone through. Vibes Cartel would have grown. Vibes Cartel is now a big man. What we call a big man. Going in the 50s. See? And I hear Vibes Cartel saying last night. Still, after 12 and a half years or more, that he bears no responsibility towards the children of Jamaica. When you see Cartel come out and Cartel have a, a, a kerchief over his face, kerchief is no. People are now selling kerchiefs for more money than it were selling for. That is how influential Vibes Cartel is. Vibes Cartel is still failing to realize the power that he holds over the Jamaican youth. See? Now you can't solely blame him for everything where you then do because as a parent you have a responsibility towards your children. And you as a parent have to stand up I make certain say you do the right thing in regards to your children. But we also have other influences in a Jamaica that influence the youth. Then. See? Now my children is my responsibility. But there's things out there that will influence them. So Cartel have to realize say, him have the youth they love him. And him bear some kind of responsibility as well, socially. See? Moving on. The Jamaica Labour Party was in government when Cartel was arrested. See? And charged. The Labour Party would have left government within months of Vibes Cartel being charged. It is the People's National Party. Man and my cause. Good morning. See? It is the People's National Party that were in government when Cartel was hounded down. When he was hunted down. Charged again. Convicted and sent to prison under the watchful eye of said DPP 
but under the watchful eye of Peter Brunting Bunty. So if you remember clearly, people, Bibes Cartel would have been arrested with, I believe, two or three females. He was caught with a portion of money and ganja. He was charged for the ganja. He was charged for two murders, one of which he was granted bail for in, I believe, early 2012 or so. See? So, when, when he was arrested, Andrew Holness was the Prime Minister. Andrew Holness never get for settle in the office because everybody know what me. He called the election abruptly and Mama P won that election. So under Mama P, Vibes Cartel was hounded down, hunted down, pursued and sent to prison. See? No, I don't know. <laughs> for the life of me, we can see that he's repping for the orange side. He's an orange ranger. See? I don't know why, because Peter Bunting is the one who we have on video saying that Bible Scartel is serving at his pleasure. And Peter Bunting made a big deal out of that. You know? So, here is my problem with Bible Scartel now. Vibes Cartel would have been away for 13 years, right? And Vibes Cartel would have came out a few days ago of prison. And Vibes Cartel is a man who had phones in prison. We hear from him last night. I'm saying he did have a phone and him raised for him pity them from prison. See? And as one phone get take away and get another one. See? Here is what here is my problem with Vibes Cartel now. I heard Vibes Cartel last night saying that no on a go on. Alright, 12 years and 10 months. Big, big difference. See? So no on a go on for people them in a Jamaica. And I find that to be very disingenuous. You better have Vibes Cartel said to the people them say, listen, from film point of view, more things can go on. You better answer that. But if you say, no one can go on, that is a PNP trope and a PNP mantra. See? Jamaica is in its developing stage at the moment. Right? There's a lot going on in Jamaica right now. And that is my problem. With Vibes Cartel. Vibes Cartel should never out, utter out of his mouth that nothing is going on. And while he's saying nothing is going on, he's telling us that he's not bearing responsibility for anything as an influencer. See? No, something I go on, my G. You can't say for the lesser classes, nothing I go on. You have to make something go on. See? Things are in place for things go on for you. You can't sit down and say nothing I go on, brother. How much are we born in our community and we see, we are, we see one shop in our community and that's how everybody hang out and I saw them live for many, many years. And you have to get up one idea, them in my G, and say, yo, you know, say, I go get up from the shop and go make something out of myself. And all. See? The government will make the necessary changes in a society. Things that we never see before. Social housing. Some 500 by the end of this year. We never see that before, my G. See? Well, we see it before when Edward Siaga built um, Tivoli Gardens. And I'm sure the PNP would have built some garrisons as well. See? But individually, giving it to individual families. We never see that before, my G. Never. I'm sure Cartel would have gone to prison. And certain highway never did it when he go to prison. That is there now. That him has a jive pan, so he has a benefit. See? Some five brand new hospitals are being built in Jamaica. 
By the way, the People's National Party has never built a hospital in Jamaica. Not even one. See? Cartel is a sick man. Is he not benefiting from those hospitals? I ain't having money so he can go to a private hospital. See? But should he not have his money, he would have benefited from those as well. You know? So, my problem with him is, I don't know if he's blind, but I don't live in Jamaica, people, but I frequent Jamaica, and when I travel over Jamaica, I see enough things that wasn't there before, and that is the honest to God truth. No, socially, we know that Jamaica has gone through a lot of, we know that Jamaica has gone through a lot of mismanagement. See? From both parties, but we say that. But more so the People's National Party. And the reason why we say more so the People's National Party is because they were there for 19 consecutive years. And the Jamaican people's life, when Andrew Holness took government, he had to start from scratch. He had to start from scratch over the 19 years. I believe the PNP upgraded one hospital. Not even a health center them not lick a, a lick of paint over in a Jamaica. Now we are seeing the upgrade of 168 police station with 11 new police stations being built. See? We are seeing six STEM schools being built with one on stream already. See? Five brand new hospitals. Four of which are being built with our money, with Jamaican taxpayer money. See? New Highway at St. Thomas. Chapterton Hospital refurbished and reopened. That was closed down on the People's National Party. Closed down under the People's National Party. Chapterton Hospital. See? Health centers are being equipped with all kinds of devices all over Jamaica. See? We who build 135 school. King Bassi. If you build 135 school. Come here, assume say you are PNP. If you build 135 school, name 5 out of 135. Just 5 me ask you for. Yes, brother, classic. Chapterton was rebuilt. You know? And reopened. Some six brand new naval vessels have been bought to combat drugs and gun running around Jamaica. With 22 speed vessels being bought to run down some boy where a child runner from the authorities for the sea. Six brand new helicopters been bought. Bringing our fleet to seven. 400 new police vehicles. So when you don't say nothing on go on, your youth can't go out hard now for free. And get up to a, 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 what you call it now, a diploma for free. And collect a stipend at the end of the month. Of 70, of 67,000, sorry. See? Now, can more be, can more be done? Yes. More can be done and more will be done. We have to allow them room. We had had 19 years of economic decline. See? Jamaica haven't grown since 1992 under the People's National Party. Jamaica has been in negative growth. See? And we have proof, you know, say, yo, the People's National Party. Them, when time them in a power, them borrow money from IMF and things like that. See? And, and pay public sector wages. And we are saying, no, we cannot continue down that road. We cannot continue for borrow IMF money for pay public sector workers. We have to grow the Jamaican economy. We have to grow the Jamaican economy. So when you hear Mark Golden I say, he may go in the NIR and share up 10% for the Jamaican people. Them the kind of things, they are regressive politics. Michael Manley tried it. 
Michael Manley tried it. Michael Manley is the reason why my, half of my family is still poor today. Because Michael Manley tell my grandfather and tell me auntie them and my uncle them say, it's okay to be poor. So them sit down and poor, so they then live out their life poor and dead poor. We, the younger generation of Jamaica, we're not having that kind of nonsense anymore. We expect better from government. And we expect government to put in the necessary infrastructure in place. We accommodate we and our family. So when we are grandparents, we can sit down on our, our veranda and our rocking chair. See? And look at with we grandchildren them and we youth them and go to work. Go make something of their life and become progressive member of the Jamaican society. See? And the whole of, we, whole of social responsibility. All of us. It takes a village to raise the child. And we must go back to that stage in Jamaica. I grew up from a place. And when I grew up, I grew up. No for you them when I grew up with them and there today. Them dead. Kill off them one and they over scamming money over a gun. No for them not there, they don't make it to the thirty of the old. Like me. See? So you must hold some kind of social responsibility. As an artist. And any artist. Not just cartel. See? Is it his job? No, it is not his job. But he must know the role. He's very influential. The position that he holds in this world is very influential. And that are my problem I may have with him. See? And after PNP sent him a prison, he was tried, convicted, and sent to prison under the People's National Party. And I don't know if him brainwash. If I brainwash him, brainwash. Make him still a run. And by the way, see? We, the Jamaican people, have to know this. It takes a village. And by the way, Mark Golden is not a part of that village. Mark Golden is not a part of our village. And anybody where I support Mark Golden, I not talk about PNP. Anybody all away. Beer. Responsibility to Jamaica. All away. See? And Cartel have no role when play in a society. Like me say, I grew up with no youth. And them not there today. Cause them fight and war over bullshit. See? We have to know say yo, it takes a village and we have to go back there so. See? And that's how we need to reach back in our, in our thing. See? And all of we have a role to play. Andrew Wholeness, Mark Golden. And by the way, like me did I say before, this fish come from my thing. Mark Golden is not one of us. And anybody will support the People's National Party and support Mark Golden. And let me not say the People's National Party. Anybody will support Mark Golden. Mark Golden, we have a walk around and tell people, say, Oh, we need to get rid of the British monarchy. Mark Golden is yet to relinquish his British citizenship. Big up yourself in a 876. See? Easy, Morris. Big up yourself. See? Mark Golden is yet to relinquish his British nationality. And Mark Golden is walking around telling Jamaicans. We don't see it in a, in a, in a Labour Day speech. Oh, we need to get rid of the British monarchy. But how Mark Golden now get rid of him people then? You tell me. Hmm? Mark Golden is yet to show any kind of respect to the Jamaican people. And we can go on a multiple example. See? Mark Golden, what do we have there? Big up in a Rupert. What do we have the, the, the diaspora conference? Uh, in the diaspora conference, the Prime Minister get up to speak. Mark Golden remains seated. You know, stand up for Andrew, you know. You stand up for the office of Prime Minister, the same office that you want to, that you want to take over. You don't show no respect to that office. See? Sorry, them boy mother. <laughs> sorry, sorry. 
I say, I say it after go sometimes. You have to make them know, you know, because you have some pussy who feel like, say, they feel like a pram push thing, like a, like a them one have things and a them one know people and a them one have money. Ni am out here, mother, man. See? Anyways, back to the arguments. <coughs> I'm sorry for the expletive, guys. I just made that, see? Mark Golden is yet to show any respect to the office of Prime Minister. We see, we see again when they on a political platform referring to the Prime Minister as them boy. Them boy there. See? That is disrespectful to an office that he's aspiring to hold. And another occasion, we see Mark Golden. And another just one occasion, and several occasions, we see Mark Golden turn up. To a state event where he should be properly dressed and attired, wearing, I don't know where I wear, that is proper disrespect to the Jamaican people and to the office of Prime Minister. We see that the other day when him go at the commission and at the, at the, at the new naval vessel with the whole line got out the door. I don't know where Sanja do, Sanja could have pressed out the man clothes. Yeah? Yes, swag down and you better cause and you know and just certain way go a certain event and, and just speak eloquently and, 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 and deal with the business of the Jamaican people correctly. See? No. Like I said, growing up, there is no bigger Gaza fan than me. There's no body where is a Gaza fan with where is a bigger Gaza fan than me. There's not one cartel song with me no one can sing. See? So, saying that to say this, although I love cartel sang them, cartel have a beer, some kind of social responsibility. Just like Bunty, just like Beanie, just like Wayne Marshall, just like anybody. See? Cartel doing time and come out of prison. He must be enjoying in, in, in look at time with his family and in, and in friend them. We understand that. But to me, I believe that cartel should stay away from politics. Not because I am a JLP, because I am a JLP. I mean, I say that because I am a JLP. See? I say that because we've seen the People's National Party prison him. It is the People's National Party who prisoned him. Send him a prison. See? So yeah, some people where them want you to take up wrong and left, right and address a Jamaica there. See? That is where Jamaica is today. We have to do the right thing. All our beer, some social responsibilities. All our everyone away. 